everyone, I'm graphic designer and illustrator Annika and we are back for another video in this series. In this video, we're going to master how to visualize data in the form of an infographic. But hey, what's an infographic? An infographic is a visual representation of data in the form of pie charts, bar graphs, visuals and minimal text to communicate information quickly and clearly. Since we created a flyer for our fictional wine brand in our previous video, let's create an infographic for wine statistics to either be put on the back of the flyer or easily exported for social media. Let's dive into it. Our visual language contains circles and I decided to use that as a key asset for our shape in the infographic. This helps emphasize the brand language. The sketch provides a basic layout structure for our design, so let's start by creating ellipses to match this layout to form a grape-like shape. You can do this by using the ellipse tool from the toolbar on the left. Duplicate the ellipse by holding Alt on a PC or Option on a Mac to create copies. When I'm happy with the positioning and sizing of these elements on our graphic, I can click and drag the wine glass asset from our previously created CC library. Alright, it's time to add the copy to our graphic. We already have a font family that we chose for our flyer design that we can use here. Doing this will tie everything in together. Go to the horizontal type tool from the toolbar on the left and click on the canvas wherever you want to add the text. Double click the dummy text and type in the information you want to add to the graphic. To add more text layers, you can simply select the existing text, hold option if you're on a Mac or all on a PC and drag down below to create a duplicate. Now continue adding the text until all of it is added onto the graphic. Make sure that the smallest font size you use does not go below 9 points to make sure it's still legible in case you decide to print this. We chose a sans serif font for our brand to make it look more easily accessible and clean in our approach. One final thing though, let's add a subtle gradient to the background. Add a new adjustment layer from the Layers panel and click on the Gradient layer. You can edit the gradient colors, style from linear, radial, diamond, etc. and even change the angle and direction of the gradient. I will select a linear gradient and change the angle to be on the top left. This gives a nice gradation of color from top to bottom on our design. Let's export our graphic for screens. Go to File, Export, Quick Export as a PNG and browse to wherever you want to save the file. And voila, you're done! But in case you want to export this for print, you can change the color mode of the document to CMYK. Go to Image, Mode and select CMYK color. This will prompt a dialog box to indicate that some appearances may change when doing so. Make sure to group everything before and convert it to a smart object to help preserve all the settings. Once done, go to File, Print and set the settings for corner crop marks and set bleed to 3mm. Click on Print or save as PDF for future use. And we're all done! My name is Annika and thank you so much for watching. Hit the thumbs up if you like the content. Bye for now.